Luis Carvalho. Luis Carvalho is the Euronews News correspondent who spent the day in Tahrir Square in Cairo and seen for himself what's happening in Egypt right now. The anti-government demonstrators continue to defy calls from the authorities to disperse. Can they continue? Continua. Sí. Yes, I think so. They're really well organized. We've spent most of the day in the square and I can tell you that they have everything sorted out. They've even set up a field hospital. Food supplies are no problem. There's plenty of bread and people selling mineral water. In fact, they have enough supplies to last them for at least a week if need be. What's it like for journalists? at the moment. Can you talk us through what happened to you yesterday, for example? Well, things have been a lot easier today, even if they're by no means perfect. To be honest with you, the army made things much easier for us. The soldiers helped us get through the roadblocks and we weren't hassled like in previous days. The problem has not been with the army, but with Mubarak supporters. If you're unlucky enough to get stuck in the middle of a group of them, it can be unpleasant. That's what happened to us yesterday. We were arrested, they took our passports off us and handed us over to the military police. We were held in a police station for about an hour. We saw three other detainees who were Egyptian. We don't know whether they were for or against Mubarak but we saw them being beaten up by the police. They were beaten up, then they were given electric shocks through electrodes which were attached to the neck and to the heart. This went on for several minutes. Luis, dime, dime brevemente. Luis, briefly tell me, can you tell me what's happening elsewhere apart from Tahrir Square? Everyone's attention is focused there, but what are things like in other places? Our hotel is on the other bank of the Nile. There's a huge military presence over there and we've not seen any violence or unrest at all. There is a much bigger military presence today. Soldiers have put up security cordons with checkpoints at every 10 metres or so. This is even more obvious in places where some of the most violent clashes took place between pro- and anti-Mubarak supporters. Montando cordones de seguridad con soldados apostados cada 10 metros principalmente además en las zonas donde se manifestaban los pro Mubarak durante estos días pasados. Muy bien, Luis Carballo, enviado especial. Luis Carballo, our correspondent in the center of Cairo. Euronews will continue to keep you informed of events in Egypt.